guys it is Kiki here welcome back to my channel if you are new here I hope you subscribe once you subscribe you become a member of the pride we are all lions and lioness here embracing our main so once you subscribe you join the pride <laughs> But yes, in today's video, I want to just talk with you about my locks. So if you're looking for a sign to lock your hair, this is it. So just a little back history about my hair. And I will be including photos as well, so let me scooch over. So uh, I cut my hair on July 21st, 2011. I was in college. Uh, I had one friend, her name was Deidre. Shout out to you, girl. She had natural hair. I had no idea what was going on on her head because I had only seen perms. And I'm like, you know, what's going on with your hair? <laughs> ignorant me at the time she's like i'm natural i was like what does that mean she's like you know i don't have any chemicals on my hair this is how my hair grows out of my scalp naturally this is my natural texture and i was like whoa that's dope you know uh what are the benefits uh you know no chemicals her hair grew faster it's thicker you're able to do more styles more diversity everything like that i say you know what my hair was literally every time i went to the beauty shop it kept going up 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 i'm like dude I would go every two weeks. Why are you trimming my hair every two weeks? It does not need to be done. I went to get a wash and style every two weeks and every other month or so I got a perm. So I was getting really tired of that. Transition, cut all my hair off and I said, you know what, it's time. I'm natural. And y'all, and that was the most liberating experience of my life. As I started familiarizing myself with my texture, I had a lot of, not hate, but I was disappointed because I'm like, oh, my hair is not curling up like what I'm seeing out here on social media. At the time, it was more so uh, just YouTube that I was on. This was before Instagram. And I think my junior year in college, that's when I got on Instagram and more involved on YouTube, like search wise. So I started seeing people with a lot of loose textured hair. And I'm like, well, my hair doesn't do that. Like, do I have bad hair? Why is my hair not good? I hate that I thought like that back then because now I'm obsessed with my hair. But anyway, you know, it was just discouraging because when I did chop my hair off, YouTube wasn't that big yet, I guess you could say. Uh, so I didn't really have a lot of guidance. It was just me and what I thought was right. And I was not doing a lot of stuff right. I was damaging my hair by coloring it too much. I was, you know, it was just very thin, brittle, and coarse. Like, not coarse from my texture, but coarse from damage. So I was like, ooh, you know, it's time to do something else. So I cut my hair like three or four times, no lie. I had like a mohawk at one point with shaved sides, had a taper cut. I literally have cut my hair so many times, like I've lost count. I grew her out, you know, as the years went on. I said, you know what, I don't see a lot of type four representation. Uh, at the time on YouTube, I did see some. But the people that I saw, obviously I was subscribed and their hair was very beautiful. They helped me to care for my hair in a better way. And I was like, you know what? A lot of people, you know, ask me how I do my hair. I've been doing my hair since I was natural, since 2011. A lot of people ask me, how do you do your hair? And for some reason, my hands are just not set. It's weird when I try to do someone's hair down here as opposed to up here. So it was very challenging. So I was like, well, since I can't physically do hair yet in person, I can at least do tutorials on YouTube, which is how I got started on YouTube. So years go by, I'm doing my hairstyles and all of this stuff. But at the back of my mind, sorry, I'm ranting y'all. I hope y'all are here to just hear my gentle father voice. <laughs> If you've been with me since then, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Somebody said I got a gentle father voice, but you know, I'm ranting, so hopefully you're enjoying my voice. Time went on, locks were always in the back of my mind, literally. I will screenshot and put up my Pinterest board. Like I literally looked at that thing like once a month and this has probably been for like the last two years. I started locks once in 2012, took them out because I didn't really like the parting. Um, my cousin did them and she had beautiful locks at one point too, like almost at her butt. But I'm very particular with my parts and I like uniformity and I know she parted it that way for a reason because you need to make sure the lock, when it matures and grows, can be supported by the base. So I understand that, but I, I like my uniform part. I 
I had commitment issues at the time as well, so I was like, ooh. I took him out. Six years rolled by. Locks have not left my mind. Locks have been on my mind since I went natural. Like, that's a whole nine years at this point. I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna play with my hair some more, you know, and I love Afro Lionel, honey. Listen, she was sexy. She was something fierce, and you know, she was a force to be reckoned with at the same time. <laughs> Those watch days will literally become full eight hour shit. I'm like, come on, this is ridiculous. N not to mention, if I wanted to do a protective style, it's faux locks, passion twists, crochet braids, anything of that nature. In order for me to have a smoother process, I needed to blow dry my hair. That in itself adds another two to three hours just because I like to take my time. I don't like ripping my hair out. Eight to 12 hour shifts depending on what we're doing. That became time consuming. I like to just get up and go sometimes as if when my hair was short, you know, just throw some product in there and go. That started taking away from me and Boo Bear's time as well. Like, especially if we wanted to just get up spontaneously and go and spend the day out. Like, if my hair wasn't done, I couldn't do that. You know, that was annoying. And even when he wanted to spend time together, oh well babe, I'm like, just started on my hair. I'm like halfway through my hair. It should be another two hours, four hours later. I feel like I'm robbing our time as well. And I loved her. I love Luce. Lionel. She just became too time consuming. I don't want to do hair for the rest of my life. Not mine. Not, you know, I might start branching out and doing other people's hair, but I don't want to spend a large amount of time on my hair. It's got to be an alternative. So 2018 rolls around. I'm loving lock still. Still ain't went nowhere. I went to a professional absolutely did not like what she did. I was like, uh, she was very rough and I did not like the parting, uh, granted they probably would have turned out nice, but it was just that uniformity and there was like a weird, it was a weird parting system to where like it was parted here, but no hair laid right here. No baby, I need hair laying everywhere. I don't want to see no parts when it's laid down like this. I don't want to see any part. You know what I'm talking about. As I said, I'm very picky. If you don't know me, I'm very picky with my parting. I like my crispy parts. <laughs> That's it. I don't like it any other way. So I combed them mugs out. I said, you know what? I've got skill. I've got talent. I'm going to try to do these myself. <laughs> and I did. And it came out good. Yeah, I know for a fact, if I would have kept them in, listen, that would have been two years of growth. I probably would have been like down here bra strap limp by now but like they were so nice and i was proud of myself i was like wow i really did these myself but i was scared i was very scary and i was like this is new to me like i've been used to my afro for like literally the past eight years or six years at the time i had to you know i did take those out i had commitment issues again fast forward up until this year 2020 you been with me since then. I started locks on June the 6th, 2020. Y'all, I was down for the ride. I started to realize that my parting, there it is again, that my parting was not the way I wanted it to be. I was like, listen, I know it's in your heart. I know you want to do it. It's just a matter of it needs to be perfect before you go through with it. So I, y'all, I tell you, that was the nastiest process I've ever went through. I combed out my locks. It took me a whole week. And I said, this is the last time I'm doing this. The next time, is gonna be the way I want it, perfect. Fast forward up until now. Never left my spirit. Constantly looking at Pinterest boards, constantly doing research, constantly. If it's always on your mind, then you need to just go forward with it. At least try it out. Locks, proven by me, interlocks can be combed out. It takes time, but if you don't like it, you don't have to cut your hair. Now, if you wait in six, seven, eight months to comb them out, it's probably best to go ahead and cut them off. But if you're like one month in, as I was, I didn't have that much interlock compared to now I'm two months in, I could have took them out. It was just a random day, November the 12th. <laughs> I started the day before and I finished November 12th. I said, I mean, sorry, October 12th. I was bored one day. I said, I'm about to put some locks back in. I still was not having a good time doing my hair. I was like, let's go ahead and put these puppies back in. I knew from last time in June that I wanted them smaller. 
I've got a lot more volume this time than last time and density, which is what I want. So I didn't have a specific grid pattern or anything. I literally just parted, trying to keep the size the same. And I tried to avoid mistakes that I made last time that I knew that I wouldn't like in this set. I didn't interlock for like two weeks, but y'all since day one with these locks, I've been excited, ecstatic. I have enjoyed them every moment of the way. You know that locks are for you when you cannot stop thinking about it. I have not been able to stop thinking about locks since I got my first set back in 2012. I hate that it's taken me this long to get to this point where I'm like extremely comfortable. These locks here, this is the most I've enjoyed my natural hair journey. And you know, it's still a journey. I can't wait to go swimming when we go on vacation, not having to worry about, you know, what I'm gonna do to my hair. She's already done. And like, it's just me and Lionel. Now, like I said, you know, I, you may see some wigs here or there. I'm actually thinking about trying some type of twist on here just to see how that works like am I still able to do uh, braided protective styles with my hair like box braids or something like that I may experiment with that I'm not sure yet but you know I hadn't had any regrets like she's flourishing she looking healthy look at that it's been a journey I am transparent with you guys on my journey I've started locks four times in the nine years that I've been natural. I can do so much with these locks and I'm just ecstatic. I'm happy, I'm thankful, I'm just excited to be on this journey with y'all. I've been ranting, I know. I say take a chance. If you're on the fence about locks, try it out. Like I said, you can take them out. People have combed out 13, 14 year locks. Yes, you're gonna lose a lot of hair. You're still gonna have loose natural hair, like whatever. Whatever you wanna do, just go for it. You only got one life. I used to chop my hair off literally with no hesitation and not regret it. So I said, I'm going for the locks this time. I'm not going back and I've enjoyed every single part of it. But yes, y'all, if y'all have any questions, I don't even know what the title, the context of this video is. I have just been talking because I have wanted to talk to you guys about that. Like it's literally been one of the best hair decisions of my life. The first decision was going natural overall, and this is the other best decision I've done with my hair by far. Leave your thoughts down below. Uh, let me know if you've been, you know, thinking about getting locks. I've been seeing a lot of comments on my previous videos saying that you're on the fence, but you're gonna miss your fro. I get that, you know, I get it for sure. But it's your journey. Take your time. Do what you want to do at your own pace. So don't let anyone rush you or influence you to do something that you're not ready to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you want to see from me next. Leave it all down below because it's coming. So just bear with me. I appreciate you guys for watching. Again, once you subscribe, you join the pride. And I look forward to seeing y'all in my next one. Bye.